Welcome to the tutorial video for DJI RS3 Mini. In this video, we will introduce unboxing, first use, balancing, activation, starting to use, and storage to help you quickly understand and get started with the gimbal. The RS3 Mini package includes the gimbal, tripod, USB-C 90-degree multi-camera control cable, USB-C charging cable, quick release plate, and screw kit. Mount the tripod to the gimbal and place the gimbal on a level surface. It is recommended to use a 5 volt, 2 amp USB charger. Connect the USB-C charging cable to charge the gimbal. Attach the curved placement guide of the upper quick release plate firmly to the camera and tighten the screw. If you cannot tighten the screw, rotate the quick release plate 180 degrees with the curved placement guide firmly attached to the camera and tighten the screw. Loosen the lever on the lower quick release plate. Press and hold the safety lock. Insert the upper quick release plate with the camera attached into the lower quick release plate and tighten the lever. The gimbal has three axes including the tilt axis, roll axis, and pan axis. When the gimbal is in motion, the three axes rotate respectively to offset shake in different directions for stabilization. Axis locks are used to lock axis arms, including the tilt lock, roll lock, and pan lock. Levers are used to lock the position of axis arms, including the vertical arm lever, horizontal arm lever, roll axis lever, lower quick release plate lever, and lower quick release plate red lever. Safety locks prevent the quick release plate axis arms from falling off, including vertical arm safety lock, tilt axis safety lock, upper quick release safety lock, and lower quick release safety lock. Balancing the vertical tilt. Unlock the tilt axis and loosen the lever on the horizontal arm. Rotate the tilt arm so that the camera lens points upward. Check to make sure the camera is not top or bottom heavy. If the camera is top heavy, move the camera backward. If the camera is bottom heavy, move the camera forward. Tighten the lever on the horizontal arm. The vertical tilt is balanced when the camera lens is steady while pointing upward. Balancing depth for the tilt axis. Rotate the tilt arm so that the camera lens points forward. Loosen the lever on the vertical arm. Check to make sure the camera is not front or back heavy. If the camera is front heavy, move the camera backward. If the camera is back heavy, move the camera forward. Tighten the lever on the vertical arm. The tilt axis is balanced when the camera lens is steady while pointing forward. When the camera remains steady at whatever angle it rotates to on the tilt axis, the balancing of the tilt axis is completed. Toggle the tilt lock to the locked position, balancing the roll axis. Unlock the roll axis and loosen the lever on the roll axis. Check to make sure the camera is not front or back heavy. If the camera rotates to the left, move the camera to the right. If the camera rotates to the right, move the camera to the left. Tighten the lever on the roll axis. 
The roll axis is balanced when the horizontal arm remains parallel with the level surface. Unlock the pan axis and loosen the lever on the pan axis. While holding the grip, tilt the gimbal forward and rotate the pan arm until it is parallel with you to check the center of gravity. If the camera lens rotates to the left, move the camera to the right. If the camera lens rotates to the right, move the camera to the left. Tighten the lever on the pan axis. The pan axis is balanced when the pan arm remains parallel with the level surface while the grip is tilted. The gimbal is considered balanced when the camera mounted to DJI RS3 Mini remains steady whatever angle it rotates to on all three axes. Loosen the red lever on the lower quick release plate. Press and hold the safety lock near the roll axis and remove the lower quick release plate. Loosen the lever on the horizontal arm. Press and hold the safety lock at the bottom of the vertical arm and remove the horizontal arm. Make sure the red lever on the lower quick release plate is unlocked and points upward. Make sure the red arrows on the lower quick release plate and the vertical arm are in the same direction. Align the lower quick release plate with the groove of the vertical arm. Install the lower quick release plate and tighten the red lever. Insert the upper quick release plate with the camera attached into the lower quick release plate. Balancing and vertical shooting. Balancing the vertical tilt. Unlock the tilt axis and loosen the red lever. Rotate the tilt arm so that the camera lens points upward. Check to make sure the camera is not top or bottom heavy. If the camera is top heavy, move the camera backward. If the camera is bottom heavy, move the camera forward. Tighten the red lever. The vertical tilt is balanced when the camera lens is steady while pointing upward. Rotate the tilt axis so that the camera lens points forward. Loosen the lever on the vertical arm. Check to make sure the camera is not front or back heavy. If the camera is front heavy, move the camera backward. If the camera is back heavy, move the camera forward. Tighten the lever on the vertical arm. The tilt axis is balanced when the camera lens is steady while pointing forward. When the camera remains steady at whatever angle it rotates to on the tilt axis, the balancing of the tilt axis is completed. Toggle the tilt lock to the lock position. Unlock the roll axis and loosen the lever on the roll axis. Check to make sure the camera is not front or back heavy. If the camera rotates to the left, move the camera to the right. If the camera rotates to the right, move the camera to the left. Tighten the lever on the roll axis. The roll axis is balanced when the vertical arm remains perpendicular with the level surface. Unlock the pan axis and loosen the lever on the pan axis. When holding the grip, tilt the gimbal forward and rotate the pan arm until it is parallel with you to check the center of gravity. If the camera lens rotates to the left, move the camera to the right. If the camera lens rotates to the right, move the camera to the left. Tighten the lever on the pan axis. The pan axis is balanced when the pan arm maintains parallel with the level surface while the grip is tilted. The gimbal is considered balanced when the camera mounted to DJI RS3 Mini remains steady at whatever angle it rotates to on all three axes. DJI RS3 Mini supports up to five trial uses without activation. Before activating DJI RS3 Mini, download and install the DJI Ronin app. Follow the steps below for activation. Press and hold the power button to power on the gimbal. Select Gimbal Language. Launch the Ronin app. Tap Connect. Select DJI RS3 Mini. Enter the default password. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and register or log in with your DJI account. Follow the on-screen instructions to activate DJI RS3 Mini. If you have purchased or plan to purchase DJI Care Refresh, please finish the purchase and binding within 30 days of Action 3 activation. Press and hold the M button and trigger simultaneously, or enter the touchscreen menu to begin auto-tune. Half-folded mode. Retract the roll axis to an angle of about 30 degrees with the pan axis. You don't need to remove the camera and readjust the balance, allowing for quick and convenient transitions. Fully folded. Fully retract the roll axis to overlap with the pan axis and remove the vertical arm. Then, you can store the gimbal in the smallest form, which is convenient for travel and street shooting. Thanks for watching.